guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, if you've already read the title, you saw that I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup tutorial for you guys. So if you want to see how to get this look, make sure you keep on watching. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and also tap the little bell which will automatically turn on my post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. So the first thing I typically do on an everyday basis, obviously I moisturize and I've actually already have done that because I just got out of the shower and I went ahead and dried my hair, semi dried it. My hair takes so long to dry so it's still a little wet, but I've already moisturized because I like to give it time to really set into my skin. So that's already been done. So the very first thing I like to do after moisturizing is apply this Pore Professional Pore Primer and this is actually one of my favorite pore primers. My mom used to use this and she let me try it one time and I absolutely fell in love with it. I absolutely love the way this makes your skin feel and I don't think I said it but it's by benefit I'm almost out of this so I have to kind of work it <laughs> up I absolutely love the way this makes your skin feel it feels so soft also I'm having to use my camera for kind of like a mirror because my mirror is messed up so I'm having to just use my screen so enjoy me staring at you for this whole video. <laughs> but now that the primer is on, the next thing I'm going to be taking is this Naked Skin Urban Decay One and Done. This is a hybrid complexion perfecter and it also has SPF 20 so I really love this product. I got this for Christmas and I've been using it ever since. It makes your skin feel and look so amazing. It actually has a ton of benefits. I think I said this in my What's My Makeup Bag but this just is an awesome sheer foundation. I don't really like thick foundations so I thought this was perfect and honestly it just gives me the right amount of coverage that I like. This is also in the color medium light and the way I usually apply it is I just give a good pump on my finger and then I just dot it as so. <laughs> and I usually do about two pumps to start with and then I will probably add more just depending on if I need more. Enjoy this super tight shot of me. I kind of just decided to zoom in so you really can see what I'm doing and also so I can see. <laughs> But I just actually, I start off and I'll rub it in with my fingers and then I'll go over with the beauty blender just to make sure I get everywhere. But this is the method that I use. I feel like it works best for me. Some people are different. Some people use a brush. Some people automatically start with the beauty blender. I definitely like to make sure I blend up into my hairline because I do not like lines. So that is what I'm doing. I just kind of take it and pull it to my hairline. At the moment, I'm not really feeling like that is enough. So I'm actually going to go on with another pump. So now that that is all finished, I'm actually going to be taking my Morphe Beauty Blender and I'm going to go around and blend out any areas that I missed and I didn't get it really well the first time. I kind of just take it towards my hairline and then I start blending. So now I have finished blending, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with some powder. So the next step is taking my CoverGirl powder foundation, and it's actually in the color Creamy Natural, so I just go in with this. It comes with a sponge, sometimes I use that, but most of the time, on pretty much every day, I use this, this big e.l.f. brush, and just go in as so. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking my 350 Nature Glow Palette and this is honestly one of my favorite palettes I got for Christmas. I have another one in my makeup bag and that's the Morphe 9B Bronze Bay Palette. It honestly just depends on what I'm wanting to do for that day. Today, like I said, it's more of a natural makeup look. So I'm going to just be taking this one just because it has the right colors that I'm really looking for. The other palette has more deep colors in it. I sometimes switch between my palettes, but honestly, since Christmas, I've really been using this palette the most so we're gonna start with eyes now so the eye brushes I'm gonna be using are these morphe eye brushes and they're just in here there's really no specific order of brushes or a specific brush that I actually use all these have different uses for them and I kind of just use what I feel like fits best for what I'm using it for but here are all the different eye brushes I have and I kind of just pick which one I feel like will work the best for what I'm doing. So the first color I'm going to be taking in the Morphe palette is this color right here. It's just a shimmery, kind of like a champagne color. I'm actually going to be applying this to my entire lid. 
So I just applied that to my lid. You really can't see this yet, but the next thing I'm gonna be taking is just this brownish color, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna be applying that to my crease. I'm just gonna be using this brush because it's kind of like a thin little brush. I feel like it will do the job well. And at first I kind of just start off with a light color and then I will go in with a darker color But I like to start off with this just to kind of give it a little bit of color And then I'll go in and just a little bit with a darker color to kind of let it show up more because right now you really Probably can't even see it, but once we're done you will be able to see <laughs> the actual eyeshadow on my eyes The next color I'm going in is with this color right here and I'm just going to be applying that with this brush The next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with my inner crease and we're going to actually be using a darker shade this time because you obviously need that little bit of transition. So I'm going to be going in with this really dark color right here. Now the next step is just to start blending because right now there's some harsh lines going on but I'm going to be taking this brush right here and I'm just gonna be blending it all together so we don't have any harsh lines because we do not want that. The next thing we'll be taking is this Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. I'm actually going to be using this. This is a highlighter, but I'm gonna be using this for my eyes as well. I usually apply the Morphe palette and then I'll go in with this palette and kind of help bring out some more colors and just some more shine. The first color I'm gonna be taking is Wish. I'm actually gonna be applying that on my inner eyelid and any brush will really do. I'll probably be using this one. Next color is I'm going to be taking Magic, which is just this silvery color right here. And I'm going to be applying that to my brow bone. And this palette is so pigmented. So it's one of the things I really like about it. It's just really pigmented. Now I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blush and bronzer palette. And I'm going to be applying some bronzer blush. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> So I'm going to be taking my broken blush brush because I need to get a new one. But I'm just going to go in with the bronzer first. Now I'm going to be taking my brush, this e.l.f. brush. I'm actually going to just blend it in. Next thing is blush. I'm going to just take this blush and go right around my cheekbone as well. Perfect. And then I'm going to be blending again. The next thing I'm going to be doing is taking these L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glow Amour Drop and I'm actually going to be just applying them right here. You have to shake this first. It's just a dropper. These drops are super pigmented so don't use a lot. You can actually do this before your foundation or after. You can just use this highlight. I'm going to be just using this highlight and then I'll be applying a little more on top of that. And I'm actually going to take some of it and put it on my nose. If you guys can tell it is super pigmented, I will go in and be blending this because if not, I'll look like the Tin Man, but we'll fix it. Okay, so now that is fixed, I'm going to be now taking Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to be adding a little bit of color back. I'm going to be taking the Wish color again and kind of apply on top. Next thing to do are my eyebrows and I'm just going to be using this Profusion Brows Kit and it actually comes with the brush and everything so I'm going to start off by brushing my eyebrows Perfect. and I'm actually going to be going in with the color Ash Brown because it's kind of a more ashy color, it's not really super dark. And now the final step is mascara and I'm going to be taking my Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This is just one of the little travel sizes. Our Ulta has been out of it for a while but I did see that they got some more in but I still have some of this so I'm just going to finish using this up first before I buy the full size. I sometimes use this one or the Smashbox Full Exposure. I love both of those. Sometimes I did want to say I do sometimes on an everyday basis just depends on what mood I'm in. I will sometimes do like a wink eyeliner but today I'm not really really 
feeling it, so I'm just gonna be doing some mascara. I'm actually just gonna use the mirror that's in my brow kit so then I can see what I'm doing without having to get like so close in the camera. So I believe I said that mascara is the last step, but I lied. Please don't be mad. Um, the actual last step is I take this Burt's Bees Overnight Lip Treatment. If you guys watch my vlogs, you realize that I bought this about a week ago, I think, or a few days ago at least. Some people just use it for overnight because it is overnight lip treatment. But I read also that a bunch of people use it during the day, especially during the winter time, just to kind of keep their lips moisturized. And I was like, well, hey, I'm going to try that because my lips were in need of some help. So... <laughs> I tried this and I've been wearing it throughout the day non-stop and it makes my lips feel so soft and so moisturized. It is an amazing product. So I'm actually going to be applying some of this because this is what helps me throughout the winter. And sometimes I will do like lipstick or lip color. Um, there's a really pretty MAC lipstick that we have and I absolutely love that. But lately I've just been really trying to give my lips the attention they need. So this has been my go-to lip care treatment for a week now. I know it doesn't sound like a long time, but I'm seriously in love with this product. And if they ever stop making it, I'm going to be seriously so upset because it is so amazing. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me do my everyday makeup. This is honestly such an easy routine that you guys could easily do. I honestly do not have time to apply a ton of makeup on a daily basis. Some days I don't really wear makeup. Some days I do. And then on the weekend, sometimes I'll go like all out and wear like you know lipstick and eyeliner and do even more with my face but this is honestly just an easy go-to makeup look that is so simple and it doesn't honestly take that much effort or that much time that is it for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up if you like to see more videos like this comment down below and also subscribe if you didn't already you definitely don't want to miss because I post every day but Sundays and I'll see you guys in the next video bye